Hey friends, this is Wendy with Love and Stamp and I'm excited that you're here with me today. I kind of have a different video for you because truthfully I've been getting ready for the paper party that I'm going to be doing in June and it takes an extraordinary extra amount of time because I have to design extra cards and do extra videos. I will link to that below this video in the description. If you want to get the paper party at this point, you can't get the kit anymore, but you could get virtual access two ways. You can either join the Creative Vault for $14.95 a month and everything will be included there, the videos and the PDF, or you can purchase the event for $45. It's just a one-time fee and then you'll also get access to the Facebook group and the giveaways plus the videos, the PDF, everything. So it'll be like if you pay the $45, it's like you're attending the event. You just don't get the package in the mail. If you pay $14.95 and join the vault, it's just the videos and the PDF. So just wanted to let you know about that. So today's video is not really making a card. We are, for Mother's Day tomorrow, going to the lake. So I thought I would record a quick video for you showing you how I'm going to pack to go to the lake. We have a boat um, that we go out on. My husband's an avid fisherman. So we're going to go out to the lake, spend the day out there for the Mother's Day. And I always like taking some sort of crafty stuff with me, but I kind of have to prepare in advance because I obviously can't take like a ton of stuff. So I have this bag from My Sweet Petunia and it's a great um, bag. I'll link to it below the video, but it's got lots of pockets for things. There's a zipper pocket here, this are a pocket here, and then there's a pocket here that also has like a side pocket and then there's these pouches that actually come out. So for these pouches, I'm probably gonna use these to put my markers in. And what I've decided to do is I'm gonna stamp a bunch of images that I want to color and then bring along a bunch of markers and then I can just color while I'm out at the lake. The other thing I'm gonna bring in this bag probably is like my maybe my Stampin' Up! catalog, um, a bone folder just in case I need it. Um, I probably actually won't need a bone folder. I'm trying to think of some of the other things that I might need while I'm out there. But mainly I'm packing it to go uh, be able to um, color while I'm there. So these two pouches that come out are great because I'll be able to put my markers in them but then when I'm at the lake I'll be able to just take them out really quick and have them sitting next to me but not have this whole thing out. So uh, yeah let's get to stamping some images and preparing this bag. Okay so some decisions were made. Uh, <laughs> I went and I, re I remembered that I need to make swap cards. So swap cards are when you make multiple cards of one card and then you give them out. Um, so what we do, because it's we all live far apart, is like me and other demonstrators make a plan. So I'm making a whole bunch of swap cards using the carousel bundle and then um, we will exchange them essentially. So. In order to make these cards, I need carousel horses. I do have to use only Stampin' Up! product for my demonstrator swaps. So I've got my basic white cardstock. I've got my carousel horses. I'm going to use Memento Tuxedo Black Ink to stamp the images. And then I'll go through my Stampin' Blends and put them together to take out to the lake. So I'm going to use this horse for sure because I love it, I think it's gorgeous. This is probably my favorite stamp set in the new catalog. Um, I think it's beautiful. And you know, my girl is a horsey girl, so the horses call to me. So here, I'm just using my mini Misty. And I'm gonna stamp this horse twice. Now I'm gonna stamp all of these and then I'm gonna take them to the lake to color. Cause coloring is the part that's the most time consuming with um, projects like this. So it just makes sense to take them and color them somewhere that I have lots of time on my hands. And I won't be doing any other part of the card. I'll just be coloring, isn't that beautiful? So I'm just gonna flip this over so my thought for these cards is to make them very 
Like I envisioned when I very first saw this bundle uh, in the catalog, I envisioned my um, my my first card using this bundle being um, like very pinkish, purplish, those kinds of colors, which truthfully are not really my colors. <laughs> Uh, I love the color pink, but I like a bright pink, but I envision this more as like soft, subtle colors. So we're going to see if I can pull it off. I have no clue. And um, I'm going to attempt to get a little bit of video of me at the lake. I mean, it won't be in this video that I'm recording right now for you, but I'm going to attempt to get a little bit of film at the lake of me coloring so that you guys can see that I actually like did what I said I was gonna do. Cause I think that I can get a bunch of my stuff done um, that's gonna be more tedious while I'm there. Meaning my coloring for these cards. And then when I get back, all I have to do is assemble them. So I need nine of these horses stamped. And then I may go ahead and stamp, oops, I don't really, so what I'm actually paying attention to, if you guys are like, why does she keep stamping these, is these, um, the hooves, the horse hooves. I really wanna make sure those are nice and black. I could go in with a black marker and like darken them up, but you know, why mess with it? So the other thing I really like about the bag that I'm taking with me is that it has plastic, like these are plastic, and then there's another plastic pouch, so I feel like it's waterproof, so I'm not gonna have to worry as much about the water getting in. Now really quick, I'm gonna go ahead and clean my stamp because I can tell that it's getting like inky down inside and it's transferring to the paper and it's making a few of the spots a little bit blobby. So I don't want that to happen. So I'm just gonna clean it off real quick with my simp my chamois. And I will link to this bundle and any other products that I use today below the video. So the Mini Misty, the bag, um, the carousel bundle, the Simply Chamois, Memento Ink, so that you guys can pick any of those things up that you want to grab. If you travel a lot, having good bags to take with you for crafting is always a plus. And that's my puppy whining at the door, if you can hear her. So let's talk, since Saturday's story time, let's talk a little bit about what's happening today, the day that I'm recording this. I'm recording this on Friday the 12th and then you're going to watch it on Saturday the 13th and um, I'm actually going to Lake on Mother's Day. So let's talk about this crazy weekend that we've got going. Um, so today my day is insane. I'm going to, okay so this makes nine so we've done two, four, six, eight. This is the ninth one. And I think I've just decided that I'm gonna stamp another one of them. I don't know if I'll use it. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna stamp nine of the banners. I'll do that on this. And then maybe nine other horses that I can color just because I want plenty of stuff to color. Okay, so back to our chat. Um, this banner I'm gonna stamp nine times, but I'm not gonna use the Misty for it. I'm gonna use a block. Uh, so today, in about 30 minutes from now, I am leaving to go get, go to the bank, gotta go to the bank. Then I'm going to get a massage. So I know that sounds just super delightful, but, um, <laughs> I have a back injury, I actually have a spinal fusion. People who have been here a long time already know this. And it was a horseback riding accident years ago. So um, I'm gonna go to the bank, then I'm gonna go to my friend Tracy's house, 
and I'm going to pick up, uh, while I'm at her house, I'm picking up some lettuce that her and her husband grew and they just have an excess of it. She told me I could come by and pick some up. So I'm going to go pick that up. Then I'm going to come back to my house and drop it off and I've smudged that. So I'm going to stamp an extra one. Um, and then I'm actually going to go drop some off to my sister. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need two more because I'm not going to use that one that I smudged. So when I make cards, swap cards especially, if I smudge something or it's messed up, I won't use it because I want to give people my very, very best. Okay, so there's seven. Eight. Oh, see, I stamped that one, Icky. Eight. Nine. Okay, and I'm just going to do this because I, when I'm at the lake, I don't want to accidentally color one that shouldn't be colored. So there's those. So now let's stamp some more horses. Okay, so going to drop some lettuce off at sister's house. Then uh, I'm going to get my massage because it helps me continue to function um, and stay healthy with my back. It's been a huge help. It's been better than anything else I've ever tried. And the person I go to is not like a froofy, froofy massage parlor type situation. It She is like, you know, a legit like therapist, massage therapist. Okay, let's do, we're going to do this one because it looks a little different than this one. I Like I said, I have no idea if I'll end up using these all of these but I want plenty of things to color I don't want to get bored <laughs> I'm busy I have to be busy all the time okay so anyway going to do that then after that I have to go pick my daughter up at school and we're going to a place where she's working on signing up for a college course so she will be dual enrolled she'll be enrolled in college and in high school at the same time and we're doing that because um she can take a world history course over the summer and avoid having to take ap euro in her sophomore year and she we have heard horrendous things about the teacher that teaches that class so I'm trying to do whatever I can to make her experience, um, her high school experience better next year. Cause I've talked to you guys already about how high school has been a little rough. Uh, it's honestly like the social aspect and all of that, it has been totally fine. It's the teachers, it's the education part. So if I, if she, enrolls in this and takes this then over the summer then she won't have to take AP Euro and it'll free her up to take an extra elective in the in her sophomore year so it gives her college credits because they carry over to college it gives her extra high school credits and um yeah it's just kind of like a win-win-win basically and so um that's what we're doing. So we have to go meet with the people to get that finished set up. So that'll be at 1230. Then I'm going to take her back to school and drop her off because she's not coming home tonight. She's going to a friend's to stay the night. And they're going to a homecoming uh, carnival and parade and all that. And then, um, and then what's next? <laughs> what is, what else is happening? Oh, then I'm coming home. And taking a shower, putting myself together, and my mom is coming over and my sister, and we are going to go to see, um, we're going to go to dinner for Mother's Day, even though it's Friday, and we're going to go see, what is that movie? The Next Book Club, I think is what it's called. Uh, that's what my mom wants to see. So I would rather go see Air, honestly, the Michael Jordan story um, or the the Nike story, but because it's got Ben Affleck and Matt Damon, but we're going to do what my mom wants to do because it's Mother's Day. So we're going to go see that movie, 246, 
eight. I need one more. Um, we'll do we'll do ten for good measure. And then we're gonna go. So we're going to dinner. We're gonna go see that movie. We're coming home. I'm sure I'm gonna be exhausted because it's gonna be a crazy day. But you know, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That's what I always tell myself. <laughs> And, um, so then we're going to do all that, come home, then tomorrow, Saturday, when you're watching this, we've got horseback riding and my husband has a trap shoot to go to. And then, yeah, I mean, so that's like our craziness this weekend. And then Sunday, the lake and... We're just going to be busy. Lots of fun things, though. I'm not sad about any of it. I'll tell you that. What a blessing to, you know, have people I love in my life, things to go do, um, the all the things to be able to do it. It's just uh, makes this little mama's heart happy. So very blessed to have all the lovely things. I have and all the relationships I have super thankful okay so I do want to show you something really quick with this stamp set there are like I could stamp all of the horses tails and manes so you could just stamp them and then also their saddles okay so you don't actually have to color these I just want to color them so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stack them all up now that they've dried, doo -doo -doo, just like so, I'm going to bring my bag back in here and I'm going to put all of them in this part because again, like I said, I feel like this part's waterproof. I'm not going to have to worry about ink getting on or ink, water getting on those. And then we're going to put some Stampin' Blend markers in these. Okay. So. I know this is how I'm storing my blends. Now, I get multiple questions about this. One question I get is, I thought you're not supposed to store your Stampin' Blends vertical, but horizontal. You're probably right, you probably shouldn't. It's just how I prefer to store them. Now, I could take the whole basket and just turn it on its side and store it that way. So that's probably what I'll do. For a long time, I stored these behind me horizontally and it still just didn't work for me. I seem to really like the basket situation. The other question I get asked is where did you get these labels? I sell them, they're $7.95, there's a link below. If you've already purchased labels from me in the past but you just need an update, like you need the new in colors and you need the, um, the colors that were added back in, um, with the color refresh, there's a link to that for 99 cents. So I'll link to that below the video also. Remember I said links to everything below the video. So now we got to pick our colors. So I know for sure that I want bubble bath because it is that soft pink color. I also know that I need gray granite and smoky slate because I will be doing shading. So there's smoky slate. This is gray dark. So I need a gray light. There it is. Uh, I'm going to do fresh freesia because it's a soft purple. Freesia light, freesia dark. I think I'm also going to take Highland Heather, which is light and dark Highland Heather. Um, what else? Hmm. So I'm thinking for, let's look at the image. I'm thinking for the saddle, we could do the purples. And for her mane and tail, we could do the pinks. And then the body will get done with the shading because I want her to kind of appear white. So we'll do gray shading. So we'll do purples, both the breast collar here and the saddle, and then the mane and tail in the pinks. We're going for a very girly little girl vibe is kind of what I think I'm going for here. All right. 
And then we're also gonna do shading on the um, banner. So those also need the grays for that. So we're gonna stick all of our grays in here and I'm gonna stick, these are extra smoky slates. Just in case like I get out there and anything is like not working, you know, that happens. All right, and then we'll do all of our purples in here. And you know what, just for kicks and giggles, I'm gonna actually include Moody Mauve too. Cause I don't know, maybe Moody Mauve would be pretty with the bubble bath, we'll see. We'll have to do some color swatching. So I'll do it out there. So I'll take, I'm gonna take an extra piece of basic white thick cardstock for color swatching and making up my mind about what I wanna do. So now I've got my, my markers. I could fit way more in here, but I don't need them. And then I'm just gonna Velcro them right back into the bag. We'll close this up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my basic white piece in here for my color swatching. Okay, and then in the center, let me grab, just in case I wanna do any sketching, cause this is my sketchbook. So I have this sketchbook that I use to sketch ideas. And sometimes I just am in the mood to sketch. So I'll take my catalog, we'll go in the middle. And then my sketchbook. And then I also am gonna need, I always take, wanna take a pen and a pencil. So I'll put those, I'll just put those in here. So I have a pen and a pencil in there. And I'm set, that's it, I'm ready to go. So that's going to be my fun lake time and what I'm gonna do, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little different than normal. Like I said, the links for everything are in the description below the video. If you have any questions for me, you can drop them in the comments. I hope you have an amazing weekend. Happy Mother's Day to every mom out there that's a mom, a stepmom, a grandma, an aunt, uh, a fur baby mom, a foster mom, a any kind of mom, <laughs> a mom to anybody. Um, I don't believe that you have to be, I don't believe that you have to have given birth to a child to be a mom. So um, I believe that moms walk among us every single day that have never given birth to a child. So happy Mother's Day to all of you. Um, God has blessed this earth with you and I'm so thankful to know you. Thank you so much for being here and I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.